What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Python Tips and Tricks tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to talk about two major functions, any and all, uh, which are two functions that are very important for checking the content of collections, of lists, of sequences. Um, and we're going to talk about those in today's video. So let us get right into it. So let us start with the basics of these two functions. Now the any function, what it does is it takes a collection and if one element of that collection returns true, it's already a true um, a, a true return value from the any function. So the any function returns true every time one element of a collection returns true. And the all function, as the name says, returns true only if all elements of uh, a collection return true. So you could say x equals true, true, false, true. In this case, if we print any x, we will get a true because at least one value is true. Uh, if we print all x will get a false because one value is false, not all values are true. If I change this to true, we'll get a true. And if I only have false values in here, so false and false, for example, the any function will also return false. That's how this basically works. And now we can go ahead and combine this with list comprehensions um, and lambda expressions that we already talked about. Um, in order to find out or in order to use these statements uh, with a certain criteria. So we don't want to just know if there is a true value in here. We want to use criteria. Uh, for example, is the number even in a list of numbers? And we want to know is any number even? Are all numbers even? And so on. So let's say we have numbers and some numbers here. Some random numbers as always. And now what we want to do is want to uh, set, set the criteria to the number has to be even, for example, and then we're going to use the any function and the all function in order to figure out uh, if any number at all is even or um, and if any number uh, and if all numbers are even um, in the collection. So what we're going to do is we're first going to use a lambda expression to define the even function or the is even function, whatever. Um, and we're going to say a lambda x x modulus two equals zero. So this will return true whenever uh, a number is even and it will return false whenever a number is true uh, is odd. So now the, the problem is that the any function is not like the filter function or the map function, we cannot just pass a function like even and then a collection and it will tell us if the criteria applies, we can only pass a collection of, of Boolean values and it is going to tell us if any one of those values are uh, true or is true. So what we need to do is we need to construct such a list using list comprehensions. And we're going to say, um, let's just say result equals, and then we're going to say, um, it is going to be, let me just check in the code one I uh, wrote before, it is going to be even of the number, because the even function returns either true or false. If the number divided by two has a remainder of zero, it's going to return true because it's obviously even. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So we're not going to get any other values into this list into this result list, um, other than true or false. So we're only going to get Boolean values here. Um, and we're going to do this for every number in numbers. So this is the result list. And now we can go ahead and say if any result print at least one number is even. Then we can say if or actually we can say else print no number is even. And then we can also say if all result print all numbers are even. And we can now go ahead run this and you can see at least one number is even obviously. Uh, if we change that list to 11, 17, 9, and 87, for example, all odd values, we can go ahead and we can see no numbers even. If all of those are even, so if I say 2, 88, 46, and 4, we're going to get at least one number is even and all numbers are even. So both functions return true in this case. Uh, and we can do this with all kinds of uh, all kinds of criteria here. So we can say not only x uh, modulus two equals zero, we can also say x larger than, um, I don't know, 70, for example, 
In this case, 88 is larger than 70, and you can see at least one number is even, not even in this case, of course, it's larger, we can say. Um, and if I set this to 90, we will get no numbers larger, obviously, because no element in this collection meets the criteria of this uh, anonymous function here. Therefore, the list comprehension only returns false values. And because of that, we get into this else branch here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Of course, if you have any suggestions or any questions or any ideas for other Python tricks, Python tips that you want to see on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.